Until not that long ago, we built like they did the pyramids. We just threw thousands and thousands of people at the, at the problem. And we let those people solve the problem on site during construction. It was dangerous, it was confused, and it was fractured, and it made for a not very efficient method of delivering buildings. So what Autodesk Fabrication Software does is allow us to change the way we deliver these buildings using technology, solving problems earlier, leveraging the integrated engines. The Hill Group is a professional organization based out of Chicago that concentrates in construction, maintenance, and operations of buildings. One of the things that had always driven me crazy is the fact that we had three different softwares with three different databases. We had an estimating software, we had a CAD software, we had a CAM software. And so what we estimated should be what we draw, should be what we make. And very rarely were those three databases all linked together. We would get boxes of fittings and random pieces of pipe and then put them on pipe stands and you'd see welders just welding out. And then guys in the field would be going and taking measurements and you'd be coming over and cutting them. And just this whole tedious process. The only thing that's going to differ your shop from another shop is going to be material handling and technology. Our vision of the Autodesk fabrication product is that we can use it from the inception of creating the model that directly provides us the information for the bill of materials which creates the estimates and the budgets early on in the design process. It's an actual real world 3D model made up of fabricatable, purchasable components but that also carry the relevant estimating information with them so that as you remove parts and pieces or add parts and pieces virtually in the model you are also adding and removing labor and material costs and other things that are involved in the final number. The section of the model that we're working on in the shop is fully coordinated by the time it comes to the shop. The pipe shop is sent to as spool drawings, which they pass out to the people in the shop and they fabricate directly from that. On the sheet metal shop, we have large amounts of ductwork sections are downloaded directly from the model to the programmer in the sheet metal shop. The program in the sheet metal shop then sends it to the machines out in the shop, the coil line and the plasma tables, and they automatically begin cutting. They also generate production stickers, which get put onto each piece of fabrication, and each person in the shop knows by looking at these stickers exactly what to do, what process it needs to go through to become a fully fabricated piece of ductwork. One of the things that was amazing was how surprised some of our top field guys were in terms of what the end product looked like and what the drawing on the piece of paper looked like. And it was amazing, but those two things were not necessarily all that related until these technologies allowed us to really build with the real world stuff and to really push that to fabrication. We can leverage any of the information created in the initial database downstream in the process. We're able to take that same database information and transfer it to a third-party software and have it be something that basically takes the human error out of recreating or retracing the same steps over and over again. In a, a controlled environment, uh, your production levels are higher, your safety costs are down. We've proven over and over and over that if we can build everything in the shop, we are better off in the field. And it makes for a better job and a faster job. There is an investment to make in creating the ability to leverage the Autodesk fabrication tool. For those who would be out there that think that investment is too large, I would tell them think twice. We made that investment and that investment has been paid back tenfold.